Well, hey, you guys, you know, one of my favorite things about my childhood were all of the movies that were on TV. Okay, if you remember the movie, Blank Check, I was obsessed. So if you're a fellow 90s kid, you'll get it. We were all very jealous of the main character, Preston Waters, because he got to write $1 million on a blank check and then spent it however he wanted. And he bought a house that looked like a castle and it was full, you know, with like toys and games. There was a pool. He had a limousine and hired a chauffeur named Henry. He basically became a millionaire overnight and still had money left over to keep buying things on his wish list. And I recently got to thinking how a million dollars in today's world doesn't get you a castle and a limousine. Uh, so thanks to inflation and the housing market and healthcare costs and just you name it, it costs a lot more to live in 2024. And being a millionaire used to seem impossible for the average person or like when I was a kid, right? A millionaire. But now we know that's not necessarily true, that it's impossible. So before we take a closer look at today's real life millionaires, let's just talk about the money habits that got them there. And I would say, just be prepared to be surprised because if you stick around to the end, you're going to see what majority of millionaires admit is their number one secret to building wealth. So. First and foremost, let's talk about what a millionaire actually is because it doesn't always mean that you have a million dollars just sitting in your account all the time. So we always talk about net worth millionaires. So net worth millionaires is what you own minus what you owe equals over a million dollars. So again, that could be actually an assets like a house, for instance. And a few years ago, Ramsey Solutions did a national study of millionaires where we surveyed over 10,000 millionaires. And you guys, the results were just fascinating. Because like I said, when I was a kid, you assume a millionaires, you know, were just blowing all this money on clothes and shoes and cars and vacations. But according to this research, the average millionaire is actually living a pretty modest lifestyle when it comes to their financial choices. And the more you think about it, the more it actually makes sense because money makes you more of what you already are. And it's not necessarily the dollar amount that puts you in a solid financial position, but it's the habits that you build over time and the consistency of those habits. So let's take a closer look at today's real life millionaires and let's talk about the money habits that got them there. So here at Ramsey Solutions, we always talk about the seven baby steps and that's your starter emergency fund of $1,000, getting out of debt, bumping that starter emergency fund up to three to six months of expenses, funding retirement, funding kids college, paying the house off early and being completely debt free and just keep investing in building wealth and being generous. So this is kind of the plan that we talk to people about because it really gets them in this position of control with their money, getting out of debt and building wealth. Now on average, the first three baby steps are completed anywhere from a few months to maybe a few years, depending on the factor of debt that you have or the amount of income that you have coming in. But once you reach baby step four and you start investing 15% of your income into retirement, that's a habit that you can gradually improve on over time while you're also tackling other money goals, like again, paying off the house or saving for kids college. And we found the majority of millionaires reach millionaire status slowly over time. And on the flip side, when you look at people who come into money overnight, it's almost never sustainable. And this is the reason why so many people who end up winning the lottery, they end up filing for bankruptcy or even famous athletes that get like a huge bonus. They sometimes go broke over the next couple of years because some people don't always know how to manage the amount of money that they're given. And those foundational habits have to be in place when it comes to building wealth and to be successful and responsible. Again, doesn't mean that you're overdoing it, but it's this idea that you're experiencing small wins and you create those good habits. So let's look at what an everyday millionaire actually looks like and what they're spending their money on. So let's look at the cars they drive. So here are the top 10 car brands that millionaires are driving. You ready? Toyota, Honda, Ford, Lexus, Subaru, BMW, Acura, Hyundai, Lincoln, and Buick. Okay, so again, you sometimes think like, oh, it's like Lamborghinis and all this stuff, but you actually see, no, they're actually very reasonable cars. Now listen, it's okay to go and splurge on a nice car. When you actually have the money to do it, I am all about it. My husband, Winston and I, you know, we look, we, we have a minivan in our garage. Uh, he has a pickup truck, you know, so there are things that we've done that we're like, okay, we're gonna make that decision on the minivan instead of getting the nice SUV, especially when our kids are little and they're gonna destroy it and it's gonna be disgusting. So again, you're making these decisions when you're looking at the practicality of your life, not just the status. But if that car list surprises you, then you might be blown away at the top five careers that produce the most millionaires. 
engineer, accountant, manager, attorney, and teacher. And I know we all know that teachers are superheroes, but the fact that they're on the top five list of millionaires is absolutely amazing. And again, I'm not saying teachers don't deserve to make more money because I'm all in support of that. Give them all the money because they're just amazing. But what I'm saying is that the habits that are created with people of that career actually help them when it comes to their money. It's amazing. And if you have zero debt and consistent income and you're making good choices, sky is the limit when it comes to what you can achieve. But do you wanna know the number one secret to success according to the average millionaire? It's not an inheritance, it's not a very high salary, it's investing. Yes, so according to people who are walking the walk, investing in the stock market early and as often as you can gradually allows you to increase your net worth because you're naturally increasing contributions over time. Again, in three out of four millionaires say this is one of the biggest reasons that they are successful when it comes to money. So if you combine, you know, with paying off a house, if you combine investing, then you are well on your way to be a millionaire when it comes to your net worth. And my friend George Campbell, he did this in 10 years, you guys. Again, with the right tools and steady set of habits, he's doing it. And speaking of tools, now that you know the secrets to becoming a millionaire, check out this video that I talk about investing because I think this is such an important topic. So I will put a link to that below. And while you're at it, go to everydollar.com and start your first budget because this is one of the best ways for you to keep track of your spending and sticking to a monthly budget. So you can get started today for free. All right, you guys, so we're kind of busting the the old bubble, which I think has been popped for a long time for a lot of us, that a millionaire doesn't mean living in castles and riding around in a limo, but it really is being in control of your money and having this level of security that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So remember, you guys, to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs> 